Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to show you a go-to look that I do when I am running errands or just going somewhere and want to look put together, but I don't really feel like thinking about putting together an eye combination or a cheek combination or anything like that. It's just an easy, minimal product go-to look for me. And really other than an eyeliner and a blush these are the only two other products that i use on my eyes and my face and this is the physician's formula shimmer strips all-in-one custom nude palette for face and eyes and this is the Too faced chocolate soleil medium deep matte bronzer and i use these today on my eyes and my face it's fairly quick and it looks put together and good and you don't have to think about pulling out a palette and looking for a combination or anything like that it's just a good go-to look to have in your back pocket so if you want to see how to get this look just keep watching okay well the first step for me is always my primer and I'm just gonna take a pea-sized amount of my meteorites primer and put it on my face and I do this every single time and lately it's been the meteorites. I was using um, the Hourglass Veil primer, but this has just kind of been my go-to since I got it at the Sephora sale. And I like it a lot. If you have oily combination skin like I do, it works pretty well. And you can see my face always looks so red after I put on my primer. And after I put on my face primer, I let it soak in a little bit before I do foundation and I put on my eyeshadow primer, which is Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. And I've been using this for so long and it works pretty well for me. I may try something else when I run out of this just for something new, but I just do a teeny tiny little bit, put it on both lids all over. And I like this one because it kind of cancels out any redness um, on my lids and any veins too and it is kind of sticky so I do put a little bit of powder over it at, when I powder my face just to give a smooth canvas so now that I'm completely primed on my face and my eyes I'm just gonna take an easy quick to apply foundation anything will work but today I'm just using the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. My shade is W3. Right now I mix it in the summer. I can't remember what shade I use and I'm just using my It Cosmetics um, what is this? 302 brush and dipping it in and I'm just gonna apply it on the face. And I know in some of my foundation reviews I have a barrette in but on a daily basis, I don't usually use a barrette. I just hold my hair back. I usually kind of just do the barrette for you, you guys, or my hair's wet half the time. So just depends on the day. I like this foundation because it looks really, really natural, but it gives just enough coverage to where I feel like I've got something on, but it still looks like my skin and it lasts pretty well throughout the day. I mean, I do have to blot, but it's nothing excessive. And um, it just covers redness nicely, but still lets my skin shine through. And I still use my Tarte Shape Tape, and I do have to mix two colors, light and light medium, because they haven't restocked any shades. So what I do for my face is I just use the light medium, and I dab it on the back of my hand like that. And then I dip my brush in it just very lightly and dab it where I want coverage. Like I have a few sunspots right there, right there. And I kind of work in little spots at a time because it dries pretty quickly. So then I just lightly dab it out. And I do like this for face concealing. I know everybody uses it for under the eyes, but it really doesn't budge during the day, so I use it for spot concealing too, and that's part of the reason why I've fallen in love with this product so much. And if you are like me and maybe in your early 40s or older, and your lip line is starting to blend in with your skin, I have a few spots that, I don't know, they're kind of pink underneath my lip, and just to get a little more lip definition, I just do a little light line there too. This looks kind of messy right now. And I just blend that out. 
I don't know. That's just something I, I felt the need to start doing over the years. And I have a little red spot right there. And if you find that you're blending it away with your sponge or your brush, just use a lighter hand. And I do have some sunspots on my nose and also I have a deviated septum. My nose is a little bit crooked. So I have been taking just a little line down my nose. And I do like the shape tape because it doesn't take my foundation away underneath. Some concealers have done that in the past. They kind of just, I don't know, wipe it away and this one doesn't. I don't do that every time. It's just something I do sometimes just to give a little bit of a, I don't know, take away that curve. And I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go in with a light, light coverage today. And you can see that I have my usual dark circles going on under my eyes, which I love so much. And this is the point where I would take erase paste. I'm in shade two medium. That's my benefit erase paste that I love so much. I put that on either before I start concealing at all or right now, and I just take a tiny little dab on my finger and just put it right, right on that discoloration. I don't go anywhere else except for right where I'm discolored to color correct, and I just pat it in. And keep in mind that I've already put on, you know, of course, all of my skin treatments which included eye cream before I started any of this. So I'm well moisturized and this is creamy as well, which is nice. So, you know, that helped a little bit. I don't go really thick, especially on days like today. And I still have that light medium shape tape on the back of my hand. And this is the point where I'm gonna take the light and put maybe half of the amount that's on the doe foot on there like that and I am going to just blend them together with the back of my brush because I want this area highlighted and this is sometimes what I'll use down my nose too if I do my nose but today I just didn't because I don't know I just didn't and I'm gonna take my brush and put just a tiny bit here here I mean, this is why I don't get people use that huge triangle method application and I do not get that at all because this is all I personally need and you saw how dark my circles were. This is all I really need and then I'll dab a little bit more on when I'm done. And then I go to the other side, I do the same thing to the other side. I'm just feeling a little bit tired today. We hosted Thanksgiving yesterday. Today's Friday. And we hosted Thanksgiving yesterday. And it was good. We usually have like 17 to 22 people. And we only had eight. People were either sick or out of town. So it was a nice laid back day. But we also have kind of an open house for friends and family after an open door get together after that goes into the wee hours of the night and um that was last night too so i'm a little tired today <laughs> circles are gone and i'm going to set it with my laura mercier secret brightening powder that i love take my beauty blender which is damp by the way and just dip it in there and i do get quite a bit of product on there make sure there's no creasing going on underneath my eyes and just set and there's a bunch of excess. I'm trying not to tilt my head down too far, but I usually do tilt my head down kind of far so that there's no creasing. And immediately after I put that on, I dust it away. I don't bake because it's aging and this is not. So I just take that, dust it away immediately, and then I'll dust some on my lid just to give me a smooth canvas for what I'm gonna do for my lid in a little bit. This is the point where I do my lip liner because I don't like it to look like I'm really wearing lip liner and I like it to be set with my translucent powder. So 
I'm gonna just take, what am I using? Urban Decay Naked 2, just a neutral lip liner, and I'm just gonna line my lips and I kind of fill them in a little bit. I'm gonna zoom through this. I always go really light-handed with my lip liner. And I either do brows now or I do them after I do my powder. It just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Sometimes I find it applies a little bit better if I do it before powder. It just glides on a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll come back because brows are so boring to watch. Okay, finished my brows. I use my Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. I think that's what it's called in taupe today for my brows. And now I'm going to set, which I did a whole video on how I set my makeup. And now I'm gonna do that. And I just take my Laura Mercier translucent powder, dip my beauty blender in it, and go to town. Here is where the just kind of everyday easy part really starts. I take my bronzer of choice and lately it has been the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. This is the one that I have been using for uh, quite some time. There's quite a dip going on. I use Benefit Hula too sometimes and I just take a big fluffy brush and I like the Real Techniques blush brush. I just find it's kind of big and fluffy and domed and yes, it needs to be washed. <laughs> Um, and I just swirl it in. I just take it along my forehead line there and then and kind of, I don't know, bronze my face in kind of this haphazard way. Just to give a little bit of life to my face, but I make sure and concentrate it underneath the cheekbones. And I do find that if I dip my face down, you can kind of see where your cheekbones are and get that spot. Then I keep the bronzer going and I take the brush that I use for my transition shade, which has usually been this Sigma E40, and I use the bronzer for my transition shade. And I do find that I get a lot of compliments on this look, even when I'm just out and about and running errands. It's super, super easy. And the only tinted shade that I use is my bronzer shade. And I don't know if it's because it's just such a cohesive look or what, but I don't know, something about it works. So that's all I do. I use this for my transition shade first. Then I take my Morphe 508 and take it back in the bronzer and run it underneath my lash line. And sometimes I'll run it back up just to kind of connect it a little bit. And you could totally stop there for your eyes and have that be it and do lashes and be done. I am going to do a little bit more today. You can do that if you want, or you can just do this, but you can see that gives depth if you have hooded. Well, hey, Luke. Luke is here. Hey. But that gives you depth in your crease. If you have hooded eyes, it just gives you a little bit of something. Um, and then if you want to do a little bit more, what I do sometimes is I'll take just a light shade and I'll put it on the lid and my highlight. And I'm gonna do that today. And today I'm using Physicians Formula Warm Nude Shimmer Strips. I love this thing. It's really versatile and I use it for a highlight and I use it on my eyes too. And I'm just gonna take one brush. You can use whatever you want. This is an old Sephora brush. And I'm gonna dip it in just this little square right here, a kind of light shimmery shade, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You can leave your lid blank. I'm just doing this today just to show you guys sometimes what I do. Then I'm gonna take this little shade right here and put that on my brow bone. And in my inner corner. 
and I'm going to highlight with this too. I'm going to take a Morphe M510 and I'm just going to swirl some of these shades together in this, I don't know, this quadrant right here. And I'm just going to take it. I don't put highlight on my nose because I get my own natural highlight there as the day goes on, so I don't bother with that. I've been using either Cargo Tonga, or I also have a video on this because I love it so much, and either Cargo Tonga or the Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy most of the times lately for just my neutral blush. And I just love either one of them. They give such a nice flush to the cheek. Someday these bangs are gonna be grown out. Sunday. We're gonna go to my parents' house today, Brooke and I, and um, just hang out. I'm gonna get through some magazines, some leisurely reading, and just hang out and get some videos uploaded. I'm thinking about filming my Q&A over there and getting that up for you guys. And is that blush on evenly or is that just the lighting? I'm not sure. You can never have too much blush. Actually, I know you can. Um, and I don't know, we'll just hang out there for a little bit. And I usually line even on natural days with something because I like my eyes to appear just a little bit bigger, a little bit wider set. It makes me feel a little bit more awake, like I look a little bit more awake. And I'm using um, NARS Galapagos, which is just this nice brown. It looks like it has shimmer in it, but it doesn't really read as shimmery when you put it on. And I'm just taking a kind of a smudgy brush. This is an old Trish McAvoy brush number 41. I have no idea if she has one like this still. And I just take this in that same direction that I always take my liner, just like this lash line is extending in this direction, like that. And um, But I'm just going to go at it in kind of a smudgy way. It's going to look um, just a lot more casual and smudgy. And I'm just going to kind of take it in this little triangle direction and smudge it along the lash line. Nothing fancy. I don't really care if it's precise. I don't like to be too precise on days like this. And I'm just kind of messing with it, like getting it right. I mean, there's nothing. That's why I like to use shadow more for a winged liner or it's not really, I, mean, I guess it's a wing, but I just like to use shadow more because you don't have to worry about, you know, that liquid and correcting and things like that. And you can smudge it and just play a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I'll do the other side. That is the liner and I'm going to curl my lashes and do Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom and CoverGirl Super Sizer on the top and I'll be right back. Okay, my mascara is done, and now I just have lipstick, really, and I'm looking at either doing MAC Viva Glam 5 or Revlon's Pink in the Afternoon. Both are just nice, great, neutral, lips, but better, everyday shades. I'm kind of feeling Viva Glam 5. I haven't really worn that a lot lately, and yeah, I think that's what I'm feeling. So I'm going to do that, and we'll be done. I like this shade, but it wears off pretty quickly. But I love the smell and I love the shade. And that's it. So this for me is just a good way to look put together if you're going somewhere. You're still doing makeup, but you're not going through palettes, putting together a look. It's just a go-to quick, eye face look with minimal products. I mean, we really only use the shimmer strips and the bronzer and got a complete eye look. Sometimes I'll use my Armani eye tint, as you guys know, in cold copper on the lid, but you know, today I could have not used anything else other than the bronzer on the lid and gotten a great look. I just wanted to show you guys what I do a lot on a daily basis when I'm going to run errands or do whatever. And I hope you like this look. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe today. Hit that button, and I will see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.